For decades, scientists believed they had a reasonably accurate understanding of how the first stars and galaxies formed after the Big Bang. They envisioned a slow, steady awakening of the cosmos, light gradually piercing the darkness, stars forming in scattered pockets, and galaxies interacting only after hundreds of millions of years. However, the James Webb Space Telescope JWST has appended this view. Its latest observations have peered deeper into cosmic time than ever before, exceeding its design specifications and leaving astrophysicists stunned. These findings are not a minor refinement of cosmic history, but a revelation that demands a complete rewrite of entire sections of our understanding. JWST has detected objects so distant, young, and luminous that they defy current models of galaxy formation. Are these hyperactive primordial galaxies, or something even stranger, like black holes formed in the first seconds after the Big Bang? The answers could redefine not only the timeline of the universe, but also the fundamental physics governing it. Our previous knowledge of the so-called cosmic dawn, roughly 400 to 600 million years after the Big Bang, came primarily from the Hubble Space Telescope and theoretical simulations. These models depicted a gradual development of the first luminous structures, stars forming slowly, their light barely strong enough to penetrate the dense, hot gas that filled the early universe. However, JWST's infrared vision has revealed a far more chaotic and vibrant early universe. In its first year, JWST identified galaxies at a redshift of 14, corresponding to an age of just 280 to 300 million years after the Big Bang, a remarkable discovery. More recent data has pushed this boundary further. Using the deepest surveys, scientists have discovered nine new galaxy candidates, six at a redshift of 17 about 200 million years after the Big Bang and three at an extreme redshift of 25 possibly just 100 million years after the universe began. These objects are not mere spakes. They're luminous, massive entities whose existence challenges conventional galaxy formation theories. Detected through significant dropout in specific infrared filters a signature of extreme distance due to the stretching of light across cosmic time these candidates vary in size and structure. The six at redshift 17 are compact, with radii as small as 180 Space. light years, while others extend up to 700 light years. Mass estimates suggest around 10 million solar masses in stars or other matter, but their ultraviolet output is astonishingly high. Some appear almost point-like, puzzling researchers, as galaxies this young should not have had time to form such dense, luminous cores. The variation in shape suggests JWST may be observing more than one type of object. The most distant objects, at redshift 25, are about 10 times less dense than galaxies observed at redshift 12, indicating they are truly primitive and still in the early stages. Exotic early populations of stars Either result would alter our perception of the cosmic dawn, but only one of them would suggest that, instead of stars, black holes lit up the universe initially. Verifying items at one of the most ambitious redshift 25 difficulties in observing astronomy. The near-spec instrument of JWST is capable of detecting the tiniest spectral lines emanating from distant sources. However, even with its capabilities, these targets push the sensitivity of the telescope as far as it can go. The more redshift there is, the fainter the light gets and the wider it spreads as it travels, requiring very long periods of exposure and careful filtering to avoid contamination from objects that are closer. And here lies the problem, cosmic imposters. At intermediate distances, galaxies can sometimes mimic the light signatures of significantly older ones, resulting in false positives and in-depth research. That's why the gold standard is spectroscopic verification. Only then can you be certain that we are actually observing light that has traveled more than 13.6 billion years to reach us. Before these items are measured, they remain tantalizing but unconfirmed documents in the cosmic register. If these objects are actually galaxies composed primarily of population 3 stars, it would be one of the most significant advancements in modern astrophysics. 
These stars have been a theorized ghost, predicted by cosmology but never observed directly. It is believed they were hundreds of times larger than our sun, burning at temperatures above 50 zero degrees Celsius, living less than a million years before exploding in powerful supernovae. Such stars would have flooded the early universe with ultraviolet light, ionizing the surrounding gas and enabling later eons of star and galaxy formation. Detecting them now would not just fill in a gap in cosmic history, it would rewrite the opening act. It would demonstrate that the initial galaxies did not exist as slow, dim embers but as brilliant yet fleeting furnaces that transformed the universe almost overnight. If these results align with theory, they might help explain the speed of cosmic rejuvenation, a process that Hubble's observations could never fully account for. The other option is far more exotic and, in some ways, alarming. If these glowing dots are, in reality, primordial black holes, they could solve several persistent astrophysical mysteries in one motion. Take, for instance, the presence of billion solar mass black holes less than 700 million years after the Big Bang, which has long puzzled researchers. There shouldn't have been enough time for them to reach such a size if they began as the leftovers from the first stars. Primordial black holes bypass this problem entirely, already vast from the beginning of their existence and able to accrete quickly. However, this theory also has significant repercussions for dark matter research. Some cosmologists speculate that primordial black holes could make up a small portion, or even the entirety, of universe-wide dark matter. If JWST has uncovered evidence in their favor, it would not just rewrite our understanding of the earliest universe. It might alter the very nature of what we think composes most of the universe. Trying to get JWST to find and test objects at these extremes pushes the very boundaries of its engineering. Every segment of the mirror, every detector, and every cooling system was designed to perform flawlessly in the vacuum of space. However, the more we look, the more we ask the telescope to capture photons that are incredibly dim, stretched across billions of years, and red-shifted into the far ultraviolet. Scientists working on these observations describe them as walking a tightrope between detection and noise, where the smallest calibration error could erase or distort the signal entirely. Yet, the web continues to provide service, generating data so rich that AI-aided analysis has become necessary for parsing patterns buried within. The deeper it looks, the more it appears to reveal not just the history of the universe, but the fact that our universe's history might be far from accurate. With each new record, we are reminded that the universe still holds secrets capable of shaking the fundamentals of physics themselves. The James Webb Space Telescope was constructed to be a time machine, to look deeper into the past than any previous instrument, to witness the formation of the first stars and galaxies. However, with each record it breaks, it's becoming clear that Webb is doing more than just studying the past, it's modifying it. The galaxies and luminous objects it's uncovering are not just faint traces of a young universe. They are massive, bright, and impossible to miss, existing at a time when, according to our textbooks, the universe should still be in its early stages. If they are galaxies made of population three stars, the initial chapters of cosmic history were much more rapid, brighter, and significantly more violent than we ever envisioned. If they are primordial black holes, then the seeds of the universe's most extreme objects were sown right from the beginning of creation itself, reshaping our understanding of how matter, light, and gravity evolved in the beginning. Both scenarios call for a rethinking of the physics we have trusted for decades. And this is only the initial phase. Every time Webb smashes through another observational limit, it goes beyond simply testing the limits of technology. It's revealing the truth of a universe that refuses to fit neatly into our models. We are now in a new era of astronomy, one where the old rules are being bent, broken, or replaced entirely, and the next discovery could change our cosmic story all over again. Therefore, the question remains, are we ready to accept that the universe we thought we knew might never have existed? Or will we stick with the same old ideas until the web-based evidence becomes too difficult to ignore? 
The telescope has, that is certain, broken its own records, but it may have also broken the very framework we use to understand reality.